Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We're going to continue on where we left off yesterday. We set up WooCommerce, we've configured it and we've gone through the settings. So let's go ahead and add our first product. So we're on our dashboard here. We can either go down to products and go to add new or you can hit the little plus sign at the top here and hit product. Once it's loaded we want to decide on the name for our product. So I'm going to be selling laptops, desktops and things like that on here so we'll say HP laptop. In here I'm going to put the long description which is the description and the features. And if we roll down, it's a simple product. It's got one price. It's not a virtual product or a downloadable product. So we just need to put the price in here. We'll say $4.99. If you want to mark it down on sale at any time, just put your sale price in there. I'll put a sale price in for you just so you can see. Let's put in $3.99. Tax status, yep, it's taxable. Tax class, whatever class you've created in your WooCommerce tax setup there. Inventory, the amount that you've actually got in. You don't have to put in an inventory number if you don't want. So we'll click the little button, enable stock management and product level, we'll say 20. Allow back orders, what that means is if you switch that to allow but notify a customer when your 20 is gone they can still order one but they'll be notified that there's going to be a delay as you get more stock in. Um, if you just have it on allow it'll allow them to purchase it and you'll have to physically contact the, them yourselves to let them know there's going to be a delay. Low stock threshold below here is the number that you decide if one of your products gets down to this level you're going to get sent an email from your website to the admin email letting you know that you're low on stock on that particular product. Now sold individually, if you just want to sell one to each customer, just check that little box there. Shipping? Well we've got standard shipping on all ours of $20. So you don't, I don't need to put anything in here. If you wanted to calculate it by the weight and dimensions, you could do that here. Linked products. Here you can put in other products that you think they might be interested in. Just enter three more characters. We'll do this at another time. As we've got no more products, this isn't going to work at this particular time. Same with cross sales. When we've got more products, I'll show you how to set that up. Attributes, we don't need to do this really at the moment because this is when we set up variable product, that's a product that has different types. Say it's a laptop, you can sell it with a 500 gig hard drive, a terabyte hard drive, 4 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of RAM. You can do different variations of it and have different prices for them. But we're doing a simple product so we don't need to worry about that today. Purchase note. It's just a little note you can put in there that gets sent to the customer after they've actually purchased the item. Menu order is just the position in the orders that it is. And if you hit the get more options, you can add more plugins and things to do various different things. We don't need to do that with ours today. Down below we've got the product short description. So for that, if you just want to play it, display a short description on some pages, We'll just put in this top part for that. So I'm going to copy that. There we go. Okay, so we've done all the text that we need to do for our product. Now we need to actually put in a product image. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to set a product image. It's going to open up our media library. And I'm going to drag in the image that I want for my product here. As you can see, it's put that there. Now, if you've got a, a product 
that you want lots of different views of for people add a product gallery image I don't but I'll just add a few so you can see how it actually works I'll just add some different laptop pictures and we'll add those so you're gonna have your main picture then you're gonna have these underneath my actual product images I like to have mine all the same I've actually made mine 400 by 400 pixels so they're square and all my images are going to be like that if you have got a product that requires people looking at it in greater detail then you need to have larger images but that works for me in this situation so we've got just about everything we need here product tags you can put in sort of laptops computers whatever pertains to the product that you're having and you just need to put a comma in between these tags so I'll add those now categories as we go along we're gonna have different products and each product is gonna have a category and it can have multiple categories so let's add a new category this is an HP laptop so let's add a category category called laptops add the new category and I'm also going to add another category I'm going to call it HP because perhaps our other ones may be Dell or so we'll just hit add new category again I'm going to add one called HP hit the add new category and there it is right there and it's okay for it to be in more than one category when we start sorting these things out you'll see how that will work so let's publish our new product and we'll take a look at it another thing I want to mention while we're here is the page layout itself you can have a right sidebar left sidebar or no sidebar I'll leave it on right sidebar and you can see exactly what it is at the moment so let's go ahead and preview our changes and have a look at our product and there we go there's our product and they've got a little magnifying glass here that'll light box it out that's what I was saying if people if you've got a product that you want people to zoom in on and stuff you want to have a slightly bigger image than I've got here and here's the little product gallery that we put in below there there's this the original price that's crossed out there and there's the sale price that we put in there and as you can see it's got a little tag that says on sale or sale now this whole page as we go further into the site we're going to actually customize with the Divi theme customizer so there's no real point in me going too deep into this now here's the right sidebar as we were looking at earlier on if you're leaving it as the default you can change these to whatever you want let's say no sidebar there's a version with no sidebar and if you scroll down here's the description at the moment there's no reviews like I say this is really for people that are not going to be using the Divi theme because we're going to be customizing this to get it all to look how we want it but that is how to add your first physical product so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.